Tonight, rescue crews are pulling people out of homes in Hillsborough County. Hurricane Irma pushing the Alifaya River way over flood stage. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith is in Valrico. Ryan, people are telling us this is the worst they've seen in decades. Well, Jamison, just to give you some perspective here, I'm standing just on the outskirts of this flooding and just about three inches of water here on Rose Street, just south of Lithia Pinecrest. We don't want to go any farther back because the power is out here and it is pitch black, but take a look at where I'm pointing my light here at this dead end sign. Its pole is partially submerged here and I'm told just beyond this marker, it is waist deep water. Had you have you ever seen the water come up this quickly? I've been here 40 years. And it has never gotten this bad. Never. Renee Sanderson noticed flood water creeping into her backyard around 5 this morning. Get out of Dodge. Put all my pictures up as high as I can and hope for the best. In only a few hours' time, her home was a complete washout inside. I know I've lost everything. You know? What do you do but start over? Many watched nervously tonight as Hillsborough County rescue teams went door to door, rescuing not only people, but animals too. We were there when they brought two abandoned dogs back to safety. And later, a group of volunteers rescued a horse trapped in the rising water. My house is an inch from going in. A lot of other people have lost a lot of, lot of their things, you know. I mean, there's people's houses down there that's completely covered in water. The Alifaya River is more than 10 feet above flood stage. County officials blame rainfall from Hurricane Irma. Just prep it so it's ready to be a base for the next truck that it comes back. When disaster strikes, the community steps in. I cannot even believe how much stuff we got in such a short period of time. Donations poured in as fast as the water rose. Clothing, food and water, enough to fill this truck several times over. People without power in Fishhawk were giving their water because they knew that they were in a bad situation. And many of the people who live here tonight, well, they decided to evacuate for their own safety. But we do want to give credit to a group of volunteers who are waiting out here all night long. They're keeping watch over the neighborhood and these floodwaters to make sure looters stay away. Reporting live tonight in Valrico, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.